Stan Jibalisco here, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station, W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I just got done making a video entitled The Dead Band Delusion, in which case, uh, in which situation you assume that propagation cannot occur on a particular band simply because the ionosphere will not return signals to Earth. Sometimes that's true and sometimes that isn't true. Especially uh, on the upper HF bands you will often encounter something called the skip zone. Suppose this dot represents you and this dot represents the station you're communicating with. And you can in fact hear that station because the signal travels up to the ionosphere reflects back down or refracts back down to point X and point X is within range of communication. If point X were further down along uh, you'd still be able to hear it but if it were closer in this angle between the radio wave and the ionosphere at the point of uh, return would be too great and the station would lie within the skip zone. That's what the skip zone is. It's a, a zone where signals on particularly on the upper HF bands tend to skip over. Any station within the skip zone cannot be heard and any station outside of it can. Now suppose you're trying to communicate. You're in New York City and you're trying to communicate with a station in London and it's near sundown uh, in New York City. So this skip zone is growing. It's just reached London, say at an hour past sunset. But as time goes on, the skip zone grows and suddenly station X will seem to disappear because it's within the skip zone. This can happen very, very fast. You may be hearing a signal just fine, a DX signal, and all of a sudden it vanishes. What happened? Propagation conditions changed. The skip zone grew and now the band between you and point X really is dead. Now you might have assumed that it was dead before because everyone else uh, in, in the, on the band thought the same thing. They heard no signals because everybody else wasn't transmitting and the reason everybody else wasn't transmitting is because they thought they wouldn't hear any signals. The dead band delusion. Well the band might not be dead and then it, again it might be. If point X lies beyond the skip zone you might experience the dead band delusion if you don't hear point X but you'd hear that, that station if it did transmit. But if point X lies within the skip zone even if station X transmits, you won't hear it. So it won't be a delusion at all. The band between you and point X will in fact be dead. This, uh, you will not be able to communicate within the so-called skip zone. That's because it needs a certain, uh, a certain minimum angle between the ionosphere and the radio wave under many, in many cases for the signal to return to Earth. If this angle is too steep, that is this angle between the ionosphere and the radio wave at impact is too large, then you'll not be able to communicate with any station uh, closer in because of the skip zone. Your signal will skip over that zone or its signal will skip over you. But if the angle is small enough, suddenly station X becomes audible and you can communicate. Uh, as time goes by, as the skip zone grows, you may experience a phenomenon which all of you who have done much DXing will experience sooner or later, and that is the, sudden, the tendency of a station that's perfectly loud to suddenly just vanish. That means that skip zone grew and exceeded the distance between you and the other station. Oftentimes you'll hear the term skip 
used mistakenly to refer to ionospheric propagation. Ionospheric propagation is an entirely different thing from skip. In fact, there, technically, skip doesn't really mean much of anything. It's sort of slang. But skip zone definitely has meaning, and I just told it to you. I hope you understood it, and have a good rest of the day. Stangibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations, saying 73, and so long, which, whether a station is in the skip zone or not, whatever the maximum usable frequency, whatever the band, always translates to da-da-da-da-da-da.